all six of them, and I'll go into them in depth later on. So the first belief is belief in one Almighty God, which is Allah. Belief in the angels, then belief in the scriptures of God, belief in the messengers of God, belief in the day of resurrection, or the day of judgment, and belief in divine destiny. So the first belief, the belief in God, or belief in Allah. The Muslim testimony of faith is, uh, there is no deity worthy to be worshipped except Allah. This is something that all Muslims have to believe. And who is Allah? Okay, here in this slide, you can see a picture of the Arabic translation of the first page of Genesis. As you can see, the word Allah is mentioned in, uh, very often. Allah just is just the Arabic word for God. It is the most uh, high or exalted way uh, to call upon God. The Quran says about God, there is nothing like unto him. God has no partners. He is the creator and nothing created him. He is neither male nor is he female and he is the provider of all the creation. So how is it that we can know God and how, why do, why, how do we know that we should believe in him? Allah said in the Quran, Indeed in the creation of the heavens and the earth and the alternation of the night and the day are signs for those of understanding. He also said, We will show them our signs in the horizons and within themselves until it becomes clear to them that it is the truth. But is it not sufficient concerning your Lord that he is over all things a witness? So here we can see a, a few uh, philosophers that all uh, talked about the existence of God or the existence of our Supreme Being. Uh, like we see a, so a, a quote attributed to, yeah. Yeah, a quote attributed to uh, René Descartes, one of the examples. He said that, I doubt there is a God, therefore I think. I think, therefore I exist. I exist, therefore I am created. And as I did not create myself, God must have created me. Uh, the second belief of Islam is a belief in the angels. The angels are a creation of Allah. They are not divine in their own right. Uh, the angels are created from light, just as humans were created from clay and the, and the devil was created from fire. Jinn do not have free will. They, they do not have the ability to choose what they do, want to do and what they do not want to do. Every angel has a task that he's assigned, uh, that he's assigned to from God, and that is the only thing that he is able to do. For example, the Archangel Gabriel, he's the one in charge of sending the scriptures down, which is the, uh, the third belief of Islam. So some examples of the scriptures of God, we have the, the Torah, the scrolls of Abraham, the Psalms of David, the Gospel of the Quran, and many others uh, whose names we do not know. So in the Quran, Allah talks about the Torah. He says, indeed, we sent down the Torah in which was guidance and light for the prophets who submitted to Allah. Just to... Uh confirm that Torah is the book that it was revealed by Moses peace be upon him from God. The same thing with the gospel that it was revealed by Jesus peace be upon him from God. Yeah. So Allah says about the gospel in the Quran and we sent following in their footsteps either the footsteps of the prophets Jesus the son of Mary confirming that which came before him in the Torah and we gave him the gospel in which was guidance and light and, confir and confirmation for that which preceded it of the Torah as guidance and instruction for the righteous. So what do we believe about the scriptures? We believe that the Archangel Gabriel carried the message, uh, carried the scripture to the messengers as it was dictated to him by God, exactly as it was dictated to him by God. However, the language of the previous scriptures have all been lost and the original text, uh, none of the scriptures have the original text still alive today. The Quran is the only scripture whose original text and language is still alive in, in modern times. So what do we believe about the Quran? The Quran is the last revelation of God. There is no revelation after the Quran. And the Qur'an is the principal source of uh, every Muslim's faith and his practice. It deals with every subject uh, in life and offers us Allah and, and principles that we can base uh, our, human, our conduct and our, and our economy and everything in our life off of. The Qur'an, the Quran deals with, our, with uh, two types of relationships. It deals with the relationship between a person and his Lord, Allah, and it deals with his relationship between him and the people around him. So it teaches us how, how we are supposed to deal with God and how we are supposed to deal with people. Here we have the uh, the opening chapter of the Quran, which is uh, which is we read this every single day in our in our daily prayers, and this chapter basically summarizes the whole in purpose of the Quran. We have uh, Zaki; he's going to he's going to read this chapter for us. He's going to recite it the way how Imams recite it. That's why he's, he's going to recite it the way we, we read it. <laughs> Although, by the way, this is this dress is not really Islamic; it is modest, but uh, it is a cultural more than it is a religious. So, yeah, <laughs> go ahead. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان
الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين <تصفيق> right, so the next belief of Islam is belief in the messengers of God the messengers were the best human beings on earth. They were the ones who conveyed the, the scripture to the people. They were the teachers and the, and the guiders. Even though they were, they were the best human beings on earth because they did not commit any major sins. However, none of them is divine, nor are any of them the son of, the, of divinity. They are all human beings just like the rest of us. Including Jesus, peace be upon him. He was just a messenger of God, according to Islam. Just like all the other messengers. And he was a human being, just like everyone else. So according to Islam, Jesus, peace be upon him, was one of the best people who ever walked the earth. He was uh, he was born miraculously without a father. He was born of, his mother was a, a virgin when she gave birth to him, uh, as testified in the Quran. His mother, his mother Mary, was is talked about in the Quran as the purest woman who, who had ever walked the face of the earth. Jesus, peace be upon him, was is mentioned 25 times in the Quran, and his mother Mary, peace be upon her, is mentioned 36 times in the Quran. And there are three chapters of the Quran that talk specifically about Jesus and his mother. So here we have a command from Allah in uh, in the Quran, uh, telling us the believers to say, "We have believed in Allah and what has been revealed to us, and what has been revealed to Abraham and Ishmael and Isaac and Jacob, and their descendants, uh, the the tribe, the fathers of the tribes of Israel, and what was given to Moses and what was given to Jesus and what was given to the prophets from their Lord. We make no distinction between any of them, and we are Muslims in submission to Him." So as Muslims, we do not make any distinction, distinction between all the prophets of God. The fifth belief is belief in the Day of Judgment. As Muslims, we believe that death is the beginning of our true life. After we die, we will be resurrected, and our book of deeds, which contains everything that we have ever said or done in this life, will be read to us. And based on what is contained in those books, we will enter either heaven but because of our good deeds and the mercy of God, or hellfire because of our bad deeds. The sixth and final belief of Islam is belief in the divine destiny. As Muslims, we believe that everything happens because, uh, because of the decree of Allah, and nothing happens without the knowledge of God. However, this does not contradict with our freedom of choice because none of us knows what God has, has decreed for us. So when we are faced with a choice in this life, we make that choice based on what is within ourselves and our own free will. And, and it, is, uh, it, is God's, it, it is in is the same as what God decreed, but because we do not know what God decreed for us, it is still also our free will. So, yeah, and, and, belie and believing in, in uh, the decree of God, is, it will give you a feeling of happiness and it will change the feeling of happiness and sadness to acceptance. So everything that happens, we'll, nobody, uh, no Muslim uh, like beats himself over mistakes he made in the past or you no know, Muslim spends too much time thinking about if this would have happened or if only that had happened. As Muslims, Muslims, we accept that everything that has happened is happened because God had already decreed that it will happen. So just to recap, the six beliefs of Islam, Belief in one Almighty God, belief in the angels, belief in the scriptures of God, belief in the messengers of God, belief in the day of judgment or the day of resurrection, and belief in the divine destiny. So as Muslims, we put our, we put this belief into into practice. Right. And so right, uh, I just want to say that if, if Islam means one God, one humankind, and one God and one religion, and there is one God, many messengers, many messengers, many books, and all of them have the same doctrine and the same statement is to believe and worship one God alone and do not associate any partners with him. If there is only one religion, then it should be suitable for all humankind, all from different backgrounds. Islam is a revolution against any bad tradition. So if you have good uh, habits and, and good things, and it happens that this person became a Muslim, it will not take that away from you. It only takes away from your bad 
deeds and, and bad things that you're doing and, and a person should be training himself to do the right thing. Islam is the only religion that it's not called after someone. For example, as uh, uh, she said that Buddhism is, is called after Buddha. We have Christianity after Christ. We have uh, uh, Sikhism after the, the place Sikh and also Hinduism is after Hin India. Except Islam. Islam means to submit totally to God and have peace. That's what Islam is all about. So it's not called after someone. And so we have, uh, thank you so much for, for your, and then now we have Adam is going to do his presentation.